This is my WordPress website, and it looks exactly like any other WordPress website should, right? But if you look closely, you'll notice our website is in flight mode. So if you're wondering how I set up my WordPress website offline, that's because I set up this website on my local machine. And if you're wondering how you can set up WordPress on your local machine, make sure you keep watching because I'll show you how to do that in this video. Hi, I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the most popular WordPress theme in the world, Astra. And on our channel, we create WordPress tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. If you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. Now, there might be a few different reasons why you want to host your WordPress website locally. For one, you don't need to pay for any hosting or domain names or anything like that. It's completely free. Two, you can try and test out WordPress and see if it's for you. You can try out different themes and so on. And three, you can even develop and design your full WordPress website locally before uploading it onto your live web host. No matter what your reason is for building a WordPress website locally, there's so many different methods to go about this, such as using WAMP or XAMPP or Bitnami. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress website locally using what's called Local by Flywheel. This is my personal preference when creating a WordPress website locally. I'm going to show you step by step on how we can set this up. So right now I'm on their website, as you can see here, local, and I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Once you're here, we can go ahead and press download right here. And first we're gonna choose our platform. I'm gonna drop this down and I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm gonna press Windows right here. And you can go ahead and fill some information about yourself, just like that. And I'm gonna press get now. And as you can see, local has started downloading and we're gonna fast forward into the future when it's completed. And here we are in the future after three years of downloading on my current internet connection, local has now finished. Let's go ahead and open it up right here. And we can begin installing it. You can also specify which location. And currently it shows you the destination folder. You can keep it as default or you can change it to whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna keep it default and press install. And there we go, installation has been completed and we can also run local right now. All right, here we are in local, and this is what it looks like. It's a very clean and minimal interface. So it's really good for beginners as well. And what's really simple is you have a big button right in the middle that says create a new site. Let's go and press that right here. And now we can give a name to a site. It can be anything you want. I'm just going to call it BSF test. And this is just for reference within local itself. It doesn't actually affect your website. And down here with advanced options, we have local site domain. You can change that if you'd like to. I'm going to leave most of these default. You can also change your local site path. If you want to change that, you can press browse and choose your exact folder or location where you want it to be. You can also choose create site from blueprint. I'm just going to leave that off as well. And I'm not going to play around with any other settings here. We're just going to close advanced options and press continue. And right here, it says choose your environment. If you want to use the preferred one, these are all the settings that it's going to use. If you want to modify them, you can go to custom and select the exact PHP version you'd like to use, the web server, and the database as well. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend you go with the preferred one. Click right there and press continue on the bottom right. And here you can enter your WordPress username, password, and your WordPress email as well. Let's go ahead and fill these in. And finally, my WordPress email, just like that. Under advanced options, you have the option to create a multi-site. And a multi-site is where you manage multiple WordPress websites with one dashboard. We're going to press no here and we're going to press add site. And if this pop-up comes up, you can always press allow access. It just creates that exception for local within your Windows firewall. And I'm going to jump in my time machine and advance forward into the future once again when our website has been set up. And there we go. Our website has now been set up. You can see our site domain right here, SSL details, web server, and more right here in your dashboard. And all we have to do is go up here with this button right here with the WordPress icon. It says admin. And once you click on that, it will open up your WordPress login page. And we can go ahead and type in the username and password we just created. I've just entered in my details and now I can press login. And here is our WordPress website, all working and good to go on our local machine. As you can see from the top right here in our address bar, bsftest.local. And here we are in our WordPress dashboard. And from here, you have complete freedom to do whatever you'd like with your WordPress website, just as if you're doing it on your live web server. You can go and install a theme, you can add plugins and begin designing your website. And while we're here, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go into themes and we're going to install the Astra theme right here. And once it's installed, we can press activate. And there we go. We've installed our WordPress theme all on our local website as well. And we can also install the starter templates plugin as it's prompted right here. Let's press this button here and get started. And if you don't know what a starter template is, they're pre-designed, beautiful, and fully functional WordPress templates that we can install in just a few minutes. And this is what starter templates look like. We can go down here and press build your website. 
and you can choose a page builder of your choice to begin building your website with. And if you don't know what a page builder is, it's a visual tool that lets you build beautiful websites without having to use any coding. So for this one, let's go ahead with block editor right here. And here we are in our library of starter templates. And as you can see, there's so many different options to choose from, whether you have a fashion designer website, plant shop, meditation course, and so much more. Let's go ahead and select one from here. Maybe this one right here, online courses. And with starter templates, you can also upload your logo straight from here before loading up the template. You can choose a color scheme that best matches your branding or the type of colors that you want to use. Let's go ahead with this blue one right here. You can even choose an alternative font style from one of these preset professionally chosen font combinations. And then we can begin installing our starter template. And once you've loaded up your starter template, here it is. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful and it's fully functional. And did I mention it's all on your local machine right here on our local website that we created on local by flywheel. That's a lot of local right there. But this gives you an amazing starting point to start building and designing your website before actually uploading onto your live web host. And once you've finished designing your WordPress website on your local machine and you're ready to take it onto your web host, then we have a video to help you migrate your website from your local machine onto your live web host. I'll make sure to link that in the description below, or you can tap on the link on the top right of this video right now. And that's it for this tutorial. If you got value from this video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here, and you can watch even more WordPress tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.